Okay, so good morning. Today we're going to discuss another statistical tool that you might use in your study. Okay, so let's proceed. So assuming this is our study, a study on the effect of weekly exercise time on academic performance of university students. In this case, this is our framework here. The weekly exercise time is our independent variable and our grade is our uh, dependent variable here. So the statement of problem, what is the average weekly time, exercise time, and grades of students? Is there a significant relationship on the weekly exercise time and grades of the student? So our hypothesis, null hypothesis for this particular state, the problem here, there's no significant relationship on weekly exercise time and grades of the students. Okay, so if we're going to take a look at the statistical framework that we have to test, to check, uh, to see what are the available statistical tools that we can use. So, how many dependent variables do we have? So in this case, we only have one dependent variable, which is the grade, the grade, and then it is continuous, and it's only one. So one uh, independent variable, and then, so independent variable, how many independent variable? We have exercise time, so one. And then, what type of variable? Continuous. Okay, and then, continuous variable, let's say this is in minutes. So, we have two options available here. If we follow the parametric, we will do the Pearson correlation. If you did not met the assumption of uh, non-parametric test, we're going to use the Spearman's correlation. Okay, so we will now test every every time, guys. You have to check the assumption for normality in order for you to decide what statistical tools you are going to use. So if this is our data here, you can. If this is our data. You just copy this data here. This is the weekly exercise time in minutes, and then this is the grades of our respondents. So copy that one and then paste it in our SPSS. So this is now the result. Okay, so if we are going to analyze the the normality of the data, we're going to analyze, descriptive, explore, and then let's reset this one. And then the exercise time, the grades, put it in the dependent list. And then for the plots, check this one. And then the histogram. Okay. And then, okay. So this is the result. Okay. We have to copy this one. Copy this one. You can do the copy special. If that feature is not available, you can snipping tool. Okay, it's all is available in Windows. So you copy this one, you highlight that one, and then you paste it in your Word file. Okay, so if we're going to paste that one in our Word file there, and then let's try to analyze. Okay, let's put, uh, let's check on the SIG value. From our previous discussion, if the SIG value is less than 0 0.05, hence we can say that the grades of the students and the exercise time significantly differ from normal distribution. So it does not meet, the data does do not meet the assumption for normality. So if it will not meet, we are going to use the Spearman's correlation. So how are we going to do that? But before we are going to proceed, we will have to answer this first statement of the problem here. What is the average weekly exercise time? Okay, to get the result, you can go to Analyze, Descriptive, and then you go to the Descriptive, and then for the options, the mean, standard deviation, that's the, okay, and then proceed. So this is the Descriptive here, the Descriptive Statistics of the Exercise Time and Grade. You copy that one and then you paste it in the Word file. So this is our result here. Okay, this is our result. So, yeah. Same result, same result. So this is the mean, very important. The mean exercise time of the university student, in, in our case, is 32 minutes. And then the mean grade is 82.74 minutes. Okay, if we're going to proceed to test the relationship of our two variables, we're going to go to the correlate, the bivariate, and then reset this one. Copy that one, copy that one. Okay, so if the data will follow normal distribution. You have to proceed. You click OK. However, since our data does not follow normal distribution, you uncheck that one. We will do the Spearman's row correlation. Spearman's row coefficient. Okay? That is very important. But the, the, the result, but the, the, the process is very, very similar. Okay? Just press OK. And then this is our result here. You copy that one in our Word. 
word file and then we will now proceed to the interpretation in this case this is the result okay in order for us to ha to have this the same interpretation we're going to follow this generally accepted uh, interpretation so since the we, we have to check for the sig value here the sig value here is less than 0 0.05 hence we have to what are we going to do with our uh, hypothesis we have to reject we have to reject the null hypothesis okay we have to reject that one because the sig value here is uh, less than 0 0.05 hence we can say that there is significant relationship between exercise time and the grades of the student there is significant relationship but how strong is that relationship we're going to take a look at the co correlation coefficient here so the correlation coefficient is 0 0.854 so in our table here 0 0.854 belongs to this range here the open and close parenthesis here this is for the negative since the value here is positive 854 belongs to this range so we have high positive correlation so are we going to interpret that one on average the grades so this is the mean grade and exercise time of the students have high positive correlation significant positive correlation that's the r and our p value is less than 005 this implies that increasing increasing the exercise time will have high significant increase in students grade right because directly proportional because positive yan. if negative if the r value here is negative in, in, in this case so increasing the exercise time will significantly decrease the student grade if the r value here is negative okay but since this is positive an increase in one variable will result in an increase in another variable okay so thank you and good luck to your research